ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray Cyborg Fisher. And you know who he is, Ray Fisher. He's Ray Cyborg Fisher. He's not the he's not the cyborg on that uh, DC Universe show. That's the other gentleman. Completely different. And I guess, ladies and gentlemen, those two cyborgs exist in two different universes. A couple of more multiverses are being created. But anyway, Ray Fisher hit the mic. Got on the public view. He said he didn't like what Josh Whedon did to him and some of the other cast men members on the set of the finishing of Justice League. We have opinions. Everybody have opinions. But the one thing that I keep hearing everybody say is, and I know this is going to reflect on some other things in our social consciousness, but yeah, I have to say it. Pete, and once again, I apologize to anyone who's offended. It's not meant that way, but I guess we got to say it here. Mr. Fisher, why did you wait so long? Pete, anything to say? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was the, the question on everybody's mind, I think. Uh, why did you wait till now to say what you said right being that you had said previously and I understand that you're promoting a film you don't want to give anybody any negative vibes promoting the film I think PR messed up on that one they did not expect that question they, they, they didn't know how to answer that question right now he's retracting everything that he said previously which was to me a positive uh if you listen to his uh, that 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 panel and he answers the question you feel as if there was no beef right okay it it started out he said something at san diego comic-con when they were finishing the project let's get it straight remember this is the point where Zack Snyder is now off the projects this is after BVS this is after Justice League was already six months into filming and then obviously Zack had the personal uh, problem and then they had to regroup they hired Josh Reed and they bought Josh and Josh was supposed to wrap it up put it on the can ship it ladies and gentlemen Mr. Ray Fisher after years and we can say it's been years it's been years of speculation uh, loss of revenue Disappointing profits and of course former WB DC direct management no longer there. They took the money and run, whatever you want to call it. We we're not here to be um civil or vocal or uh... Ray Fisher's now come out. Josh Whedon was bad to us. Let me tell you what I've seen here. Zach is now back. Zach is gonna oh, yeah. Zach is gonna be able to get to show the world, the public, his uh rendition of his Justice League movie that he wanted to do. Um, is it a case of the kids didn't like the substitute teacher? Well, P, you tell me if I'm wrong. The substitute came in, which is Josh, yeah. mm -hmm. and now the kids, I don't like him. Why? Yeah. Why? Because he, let's, let's, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Because he worked for Marvel Studios? Because he created the Avengers movie? Because no matter what, he'll be Josh Whedon, the Avengers. That's forever. Yeah. You can't take that away. He gave us, H O F. He gave you us can't break Avengers. it. I mean, that that. He gave you, us you, hey, yo, yo, Pete, live with it, cause it ain't gonna change. Yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing you can do to change that. Yeah. People have some sort of disdain now for Josh Whedon, you know, being the guy to mess it all up. Now, is it and is it course, Josh Whedon, Pete, or is it the people over there got to think? Let's put it out there. You got to think for Marvel Studios and anybody that comes on. That's why we said it right here. That's all that is, Ray. That's all that is.